Max Verstappen wins again. He wins the Steady and Grand Prix. Now it's four wins in a row for Red Bull. Lewis Hamilton will be throwing his prams out. He's throwing his toys at the prams, should I say? <laughs> but it's in the first he ten seconds. He can afford to throw prams at his mansion or whatever. So. Uh, yeah, I mean he can afford to throw whatever he wants. He can fucking throw away million pound notes at this stage, and it wouldn't make much difference to Lewis Hamilton. But uh, he can't afford to throw away any sort of advantage tenth wise that Mercedes may have because the Red Bull are right up there. So. Like I said, four wins in a row now for Red Bull, three for Max, one for Perez, and and uh, it's an all-solid win for Max today. And you've got to favour Red Bull next week as well. I don't think much is going to change. No, it's the same so, track, guys. You so. know what I mean? Uh, so just I mean, a, a if name. anything, I think it would be worse for Mercedes because Perez should be better with another attempt at the track. Yeah, so I mean... You know, but anyway, we're not here to talk about next week's Austrian Grand Prix. We're talking about this week's. It was shy. Yeah, it was know. very uneventful. I don't know what happened today. I mean, normally, and for this Grand Prix in the past, normally you get lots of overtaking. Whereas today, just there, there didn't seem to be much. I mean, for a large part of the race, the, the whole midfield, like the lower midfield, were in a train. Not a lot was happening. Uh, when you bet Danny Ricardo and you need him to get points, and he just he, he's sitting in fifteen for the majority of the race behind like shite cars and shite drivers, it's it doesn't even fill you much confidence. And I mean that's what happened here. So we'll run through the order. It was Max first, Hamilton second, Bottas third, Perez fourth, Norris fifth, Sainz sixth, Leclerc seventh, Stroll eighth, Alonso ninth, and I know that in tenth. Then it was Kimi. Then it was Vettel. And nobody cares about the rest, right? Then it was Ricardo. Uh, Ga Ocon, Giovinazzi. Gasly, DNF. Then he finished lap one. Um, oh. Unfortunate for him. Not really a lot he could do. Leclerc. It was a weird one. He seemed, he seemed to hit every driver before he retired. Yeah. Hit Leclerc. Well, Try to take everyone out. Well, if he's going down, he's going to go down swinging. So, try to take everyone out of him. Well, no, Leclerc hit him. I, oh, you know. I think Leclerc was to blame for that. I mean, I wouldn't have played the no, blame no, on that. Apparently, that was weird. Probably didn't get a penalty because Leclerc had the pit. But, if but anyway, if you look back, Leclerc actually managed to come back and so score some solid points. And what did Gasly score? So, Absolutely no, not. So what is Ricardo's fucking excuse? Well, he ain't got one. I mean, exactly, he ain't. He ain't got one. You see uh, this excuse of, but Leclerc got a two-stopper. He put it in the fucking next lap. I know, so I wouldn't even count that. Like, you know, those tyres were still fucking fresh. Uh, so, yeah, Leclerc was the driver of the day. I mean, no complaints with that, really. I mean, he come for, to be last and to come all the way back, you know, and get seventh. He, he didn't even finish that far behind Sainz, to be honest. So, uh, no issues. Yeah, with I mean, if I was picking one, it would probably be between him. But Sainz did a good job. Norris was just unchallenged, to be honest. Yeah. But was, and Max, the same kind of thing with Norris. He was unchallenged, but he got yeah. the job done. So, yeah, like Max Max won. Not a lot to say about him. Hamilton, second, again, not a lot to say. Bottas and Ford, uh, he managed to get past Norris on the track, but Norris didn't even put a fight up, really, for that position. Don't know why. Um, he was just happy to let... He, he was just happy to let Bottas go through him. Bottas managed to overtake Perez. After a slow pit stop for Red Bull, Red Bull changed their two stopper. But Forty points clear, Red Bull are guys. Aye, Red Bull, Red Bull changed their two stopper. Almost caught, well, they caught Bottas in the last lap, but just they needed one more lap. And I hate when shit like that happens. You know what I mean? See, Obviously, it, it's if, good if, we, if we'd bet Bottas to get a podium, would have been loving life. But uh, it's good for Red Bull to be in a predicament where they shaft their driver rather than their driver just being pissed and they weren't good enough to actually be shafted by anything other right. than himself. So yeah, I mean, Red Bull today threw, threw away the double podium due to a slow pit stop, and it's, it's kind of weird because normally they're, they're the kings of the pit stop, but it was today poor pit stop that cost them. So Perez and Fort, I mean, Norris, just unchallenged. He, he kept his third place. He did originally get overtaken by Perez, but then Perez maybe should have just settled for third. He tried to overtake Halden. Halden kind of boxed him in, and then that allowed Norris to get back on... Yeah, it definitely looked like Perez was going to get Halden, and he didn't. Yeah. So, I mean, how Perez went through looking like he was getting Lewis to uh, end up getting stuck behind Norris. So, that didn't go very well for him. Uh, Sainz had a solid race in Ferrari, overtook a bunch of cars. I think arguably driver of the day. I think, I think, I think driver of the day probably should go to a Ferrari driver. Yeah. Um, that's it, really. Alonso had a good race, but the Alpine's just not good. <laughs> the race pace, it's pish, but he still managed to, you know, secure a couple of points. Stroh, I thought, did well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple of races there were fatal, got the better of them, but it was good to see Stroll back in control. And that, uh, that Austin you Martin. You can clearly see that McLaren and Ferrari are 
a that, step above everyone else. Yeah, that Austin Martin battle. Uh, Sonoda got a point. I mean, what can you say about Sonoda, really? I'd say it's underwhelmed. Cause, I mean, I thought well, Alpha Torre looked I, pretty good I, here. I was surprised. I'd just say they're a step above everyone else. I would say Alpha Torre are very close to McLaren Farm. Yeah, I thought, I thought Sonoda should have done better. Probably should have finished ahead of Alonso and... Uh, and Stroll, but he didn't. Uh, we've covered the Alfa Romeros, didn't really do much. Kimi, I guess, made the the one stop start on the hards work no bad. I mean, maybe on another day, yeah, maybe on another day he could have got a point if there was a retirement or two. Unlucky for him, George Russell gets shafted. Yeah, well, that's who we've got to talk about next. George Russell running in eighth place for the first entire stint of the race, he was the first driver to pit, therefore. You feel like he would have at least kept his eighth place. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think George Russell would have scored points here today, but unfortunately for him, the one time where he's in the points when they pit and legit in the points, I mean, he was that was his actual. Not like it's not like he had he hadn't pit it and everyone else had. He was legit running in eighth place. He comes into pit first, so he's not going to get undercut by anybody. You'd have to assume that after the first round of pit stops, Russell would still have been in eighth place. If not eighth, he'd have still been in the points. And uh, Williams screw up. Well, that's about it. I mean, so I, don't I mean, get what, I mean, it didn't really look like Williams screw up. It just looked like they were fixing the car. The car had an issue or something. All right. Well, you know, it was a slow stop. End of the day, slow stop, and that. I mean, that cost Russell. Tell you what, though, it's looking good for him next week. Yeah, I mean, if why can't he do it again? His teammate might have been shite, like, but, uh, you know, Russell was pretty good. And that, that pretty much sums up, guys. So there you go. I mean, I feel sorry for Russell, I do. But, uh, I mean, it, it is what it is. Max wins. Mercedes get a double podium. Will they be lucky, ne uh, lucky next week? I don't think so. I think uh, I think it'll be next week. I think you see, this is where Perez is crucial, right? Because even though the Mercedes got a double podium, you think that automatically sounds like Red Bull outscored or got outscored. But they're still outscored Mercedes. Yeah, because it came fourth, so, I mean... If it's Albon, Albon probably finishes a fucking eight for it. Yeah, and Mercedes pick up more points, so... You look at it like that, guys. And yeah. Perez should have got forward to get screwed, but oh well. Ah, uh, next week. You'll take them next week. I think, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if it's a Red Bull 1-2 next week. Yeah. Or a 1-3. You know? Yeah. A 1-3 one, one or a 1-2. It's, it's going to be hard to beat Max. See, the guy looks pretty unstoppable at the moment. When you've got arguably the best driver on the grid and he might have the best car as well, then it's a it's a pretty good it's a done deal. It's a pretty good combination. But anyway, guys, there you go. My prediction is probably going to be. Ah, uh, we'll make a wee fit on it. Ah, uh, make a fit on it. I'll, I'll keep using suspense. Right, anyway, that's it, guys. Till next time. What's what you thought of the race down below in the comments? I'll give it a fucking three out of ten. I thought it was pretty pish. Ah, uh, it was, was pretty boring. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even think I can bump up to the big Bret Hart I mean, for that 10. I'll say this, at least it wasn't, at least the cars weren't completely spaced out and there was nothing happening. Yeah, they were all close, so you always felt like something could happen, but in the end, came, but, but in the end, nothing really happened. So yeah, 3 out of 10, I think it's fair. Till next time, peace.